Hey all, uh, my name is Forrest Dowling and I'm the creative director on Drake Hollow and I'm here to show you around a high level camp that I've made so you can sort of see uh, what the game looks like once you've had a bunch of time with it. Let's take a look. So here we are. This is my camp and I am going to give you a little walk around so you can sort of see everything that is going on here because there's quite a lot. So. It's nighttime right now. Got a bunch of drakes here, sleeping like little babies in their bunk beds. Maybe we can see them all snoozing away. And I'm gonna just take a quick cruise around the camp. Uh, I set up these waypoints around the camp. Normally they are for moving around the world, but this way I can kind of slow cruise around the camp, get a good look at it, but also, in the case of a raid, I can just kind of zip around if I need to get from one side to the other quickly. And uh, we'll sort of start at the outside. So I've ringed the camp with a number of Tesla coils, and these are going to blast uh, bad guys when they show up for a raid. And near them, I put these uh, decoys. Enemies will mistake these for drakes because they're idiots and we'll go after them, which will then expose them to the Tesla coils. So this is my little workshop area. This is where I can craft some stuff. So this area, oh hey, sweep, is kind of the industrial zone. So we've got here a number of solar panels, which provide quite a lot of electricity. And they are connected up to these water alchemizers which take water out of the atmosphere and turn it into water that can be used on other improvements. So connected up to this, I've got a lobster tank and you see somebody's chowing down there right now. Let me just bring the camera in here. Oh, so we can get a nice little look at these lobs. Delicious. And then we've got this uh, nice little hot tub for Drake's to be entertained. And because it's winter time, we need uh, things like this, this heater which provides heat and keeps things thawed around it because anything that uses water is not going to work in winter time and here i've got a couple of hydroponic greenhouses which they're getting kind of low on seeds so i'm gonna let's see, add some cabbage seeds all right over here i mean i had the budget for it so i built a heater for the bed so just because I think it's nicer, but it doesn't really do anything. They'll sleep in the beds regardless. We just have like the residential district, their little sleeping towers. So there's plenty of places for them to rest. And here we've got a little bit of an entertainment zone. We've got a swing set and some puppet shows that will keep the Drakes happy. Although they seem to be pretty content right now to just kind of hang out on, uh, on the fences around the area. And the whole thing is kind of uh, ringed in all this sort of electrical and water. So I wanted to kind of keep everything off in one spot. This is our friend Shrinking Fox. There's a number of NPCs like this that you'll encounter in the campaign. Uh, I'm just ignoring the quest right now. Behind Shrinking Fox we've got the Ballista. So when enemies attack, Drakes will get on this and defend. Otherwise they tend to hide if you don't give them anything to defend with. Let's go take a look over here in the graveyard area. I've retired a couple drakes, um, which means I've just aged them up to the point that they turn into these peaceful statues. Just uh, a little uh, levitation charm here, which allows me to hook onto these uh, rails but also, well, this is a common point that enemies might come in to the camp and that'll launch them right into the range of the Tesla coil. And I'm going to see how this whole plan works. Uh, I'm gonna deploy a raid bait, which is gonna trigger a raid to happen immediately. All right, now enemies are going to start incoming, but Yep, they're going straight for the decoys and getting just housed, which is the intent. Oh, looks like that's going on over there. Yep. Oh, yep. One who did not get drawn into the bait. Okay, 
can happen. I need more defenses to make sure that that absolutely never happened. Now this was kind of a weak spot last time, so I'm trying to decide how best to deal with this. Wheel? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze a little Tesla coil in there. So Tesla coil is built. Now I need to attach it. Connect the power over here. I hope I have enough power. Yes. I really want to see how my camp is going to do under an attack now that it's all fixed up. So I'm going to call in a raid. Yep. Well, there was a weak spot last time. Now it is strong. So yeah, this has been a look at sort of a high-level village at pretty late in the game in Drake Hollow. We've got room for, let's see, 12 drakes in the beds there. We've got plenty of defenses that are nice and built up and using a lot of decoys to bring enemies into them. We've got plenty of food provided and water. We've got a lot of electricity. And it took a lot of resources to build all this stuff, of course. Um, so it takes a bit of time, but you know, once it's all together, your camp can kind of defend itself and take care of itself and let you just go off and focus on exploring. Oh, and lastly, a lot of entertainment, a lot of water. Well, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, wishlist us on Steam or um, pick us up on uh, Xbox or Windows 10 Store when we come out July 17th. Thank you so much.